Okay, so um, the Course in Miracles talks about, uh, does talk about meaninglessness in various, um, in various lessons and in various ways. Um, so, and then uh, one of the students is getting the sense of, well, if everything's meaningless um, and, and starting to feel depressed, sad, no joy, and that everything's pointless. Now, I think the great thing about going to, um, just answering that um, is to, um, there, there's a lot of things I can say on that, is to understand that there are layers of letting go of the ego. And the, every time you let go of a layer of the ego, there's kind of like a withdrawal or resistance. And what you're experiencing, what you experience actually is, is the, uh, what remains of the ego. Uh, the ego doesn't like giving up ground to, to the infinite. Um, and so various things come. You know, uh, the ego loves drama, uh, the up and down of life. Um, becoming attached to objects, si objects and situations, and projecting from its belief systems all kinds of things like attractions and aversions onto the world. So as you start to um, as you start to delete, dismantle through the course, of the course of miracles is one avenue to dismantle all the beliefs and projections. Uh, and I'd say the course of miracles is aimed at enlightenment. Not all the lessons are at non-dualistic -dual level but um, that's the aim of dismantling aspects of the ego slowly in 365 lessons um, various things will come up from the ego uh, because just like uh, I go to 12-step groups if you give up alcohol when the ego realizes that it can't get that um, uh, that um, that hit that roller coaster of up and down from the alcohol then it does sulk for a while and it's depressed and it sees that life is pointless. And each time you each time you let go of another layer of the ego through whichever spiritual path, um, you get to experience what's, what remains of the, uh, the ego. And also the ego's angst at giving up ground. Um, the ego loves, um, loves various things. So if you're doing everything, when you're getting to the Course in Miracles where you're saying everything is meaningless, um, and even my thoughts are meaningless, uh, which is stripping away all, even the addiction to thought. Then, of course, it's going to bring up layers. So what, what is it you're actually experiencing? Well, you're experiencing, um, you could say you're, exper you're experiencing what remains of your ego uh, that's left, because you can only, ex you, until you're into the infinite truth, you're just experiencing different levels of what remains of the ego. So the ego can have a, have, for example, the ego may have a belief that if you can't, you know, for, uh, let's take it with something simple and then you'll be able to see it with, uh, but the same principles apply. If you say to an alcoholic or a drug addict or a sugar addict, like give up the alcohol, uh, they're, they're, they would think life is going to be meaningless and pointless. They'd sulk for a while. They'd feel depressed. They would say, they would say that you can't exist without alcohol. What's the point of living? Uh, and 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 think you know and think well that that's all the projections coming up from the ego and that's all the sulking of the ego of giving up the alcohol uh, then you, it's good to have uh, other people who've been before you to say look yeah your ego is going to sulk for a while you're going to experience some some uh, symptoms you probably will go through all the stages of of the grief process in giving up anything major uh, so all kinds of emotions and feelings and uh, ideas that you can't exist without that crutch uh, will we'll start to exist. But I mean, what is it you're experiencing? You're still experiencing different levels of the ego as you're giving up certain things. And some in the beginning, it may seem you're, you're going to a harder level and life seems more difficult than when you're actually having the, the comfort of the alcohol or whatever it is, the payoff that the ego is used to getting and juicing. So. And that goes through, uh, that will go through with alcohol, and uh, that will go through everything. And that also goes on to these core beliefs, like, you mean every thought I get in my head is meaningless? I can't enjoy being in my head. I can't enjoy uh, projecting. Uh, and that, you know, then what's the point of life? If I can't, if my thoughts are meaningless and everything out there is meaningless, what's the point of life? 
Of course, the ego is going to say that. And you need others that have gone before you to sort of say, like, that's just another layer of things. You don't give up until the miracle. Um, so, who? I mean, uh, I would say, like, um, you, you, uh, from a self-inquiry inquiry point of view, it become very, very clear. Who is it that's finding it meaningless and pointless and depressing? Well, it's not the is is not the that in the infinite stillness and the infinite love within you. It's not that. Of course, it's a layer of the ego, and uh, you could also see it as a as a um, as a defense mechanism. It's not going to be that easy. I mean, the ego has so many different belief systems at different levels underpinning the addiction to it. So. As you're going into more core, uh, going more for the jugular of what's uh, the fundamental aspects of the ego, it's going to you're going to experience uh, some uh, some stuff coming up, um, and that's and what is it? I mean, you could say what is it that that stuff? What is this depression and pointlessness? Well, you know, if you uh, there there's lots of collective belief systems, like defense mechanism. A belief system is a limited idea. Like if you, and the ego's core thing is that you, the ego is the source of survival. If you didn't have an ego, then you know there'd be nothing left for you. There is no underlying truth, and that that is the that is the that's what the ego would try and tell you. If I if you let go of every every single limiting idea, every single belief, and all the payoff of the ego, there'll be nothing left. So the hole in the donut, as they talk about in twelve steps, and so. But actually, if you um, if you uh, look at people in twelve step groups when they've let go of things and think life might be pointless, once they get through, if they manage to get through the withdrawal rather than uh, giving up, uh, they uh, you hear other people share it. It's worth going through that until you get to a new level in your recovery, and you realize that there's a ha a freedom without that dependency any longer for the alcohol, and the same goes through. For anyone who's had, um, uh, uh, and people sometimes forget this, mystical experiences of flow and the infinite and being out of thoughts and an existence beyond just being in the head all the time and thinking about everything and trying to have that labeling going on and that, um, oh, I, you know, it's the me thinking that's organizing life and I need the me thinker to organize life. The, uh, the actually mystical experiences start to appear where the, the, the thinking is not orchestrating the life and it's uh, it's witnessed that there's a greater a greater wisdom that can do and uh, and orchestrate life beyond the head and the ego and all these belief systems and thoughts and ideas and for me a belief is a limit is it's a limiting idea and can you be free of all limiting ideas well uh, I that's what uh, you know the, the the times I've had that infinite stillness, uh, the, I mean, the, the, the Course in Miracles calls it the hush of heaven, where no limiting idea or not even the world can intrude on a beautiful stillness, a divineness, uh, where it's like uh, the world is muffled out by this heavenly bliss. So, and, and things mystically happen without thought. So that's, I'm sharing my experience there. Um, but do you have to go through layers? I'm not always there either. But do you have to go through layers of letting go of this addiction to thought, the belief system, the continuous projection, uh, the addiction to the idea? I mean, there's various core ideas. Letting go of the idea that all thoughts and all things are meaningless. Well, what that means is, um, you know, that that's how the ego gets payoff. The payoff loves, um, you know, things to do, you know, like I'm going to control uh, my thoughts and control the world and I can get happy by using this thing and unhappy if I use that thing. And so this dualistic play that uh, the ego's in charge trying to get payoff and run away from, you know, the, get the payoff from the attractions. If I eat an ice cream, I'm going to be happy. You know, life without ice eating ice creams, I mean, that would be miserable. Be, what's the point of life if you can't eat an ice cream? And then also, look, you need me because like if a polar bear suddenly jumps up uh, from the garden, and tries to eat me i need to be able to think but is it possible that life could orchestrate it without the thinker and without the ego projecting meaning and um, trying to control everything non-stop so uh 
my experience is it's it's uh, those have been the most sublime states. It's not the ego and the thinker and the ego that projects this is good and this is bad that's required for the most beatific. But yeah, there's lots and lots of layers and each thing that the ego has an attraction or aversion to, I mean, the attraction to thoughts, the attraction to um, the ego projecting, like ice cream is good, but lettuce is bad, you know, and wanting to have that kind of labeling going on. Or, or people, uh, if I have a lot of money in my bank account, that's good. If I have no money in the bank account, that's bad. So all this continuous labeling, if I'm old, I'm bad. If I'm young, I'm good. So what would life be without all of that? So there's got to be stages and you also get to um, experience and beliefs. So here's, here's the thing, like there's seven, uh, that the collective consciousness of humanity has loads of beliefs in it. Uh, a, a male is, a, is, a, uh, is an archetype, if you like, a female is an archetype. So there's lots of things to transcend in depending on what your belief systems are. But um, I was going to say something very important, but I've just forgotten it. Um, and it's, oh yes, so you get, <laughs> I like forgetting things. Of course, like if you have the belief system that without thinking you're going to be, life's going to be pointless and meaningless, that's what you would experience. So you're, you're getting to experience the defense layers. Like if I can't think, then I'll be like, a, I'll be a zombie or I won't be able to function. That's a belief system. Uh, if I let go of my thoughts, I, I, I can't exist. Life will be pointless. That's another belief system. These would definitely be belief systems the ego would hold because it, its survival is based on you keeping thinking and keeping labeling and projecting and seeing things as good and bad and having a making trying to make plans up in its head that it think it will make you happier so it, it will have a lot of defense belief systems not to let that stuff go so you have to be able to go through and then um go through the layers now for people who are doing self-inquiry you know if you get like depressed and pointless well who's who you know what what's observing depression because depression and pointlessness are things that are witnessed so then that takes you out of that or if you just go through if you use the field of feelings method if you just allow the the, the pointlessness to be there and still carry on for long enough against that that will start to fizzle out you see uh, the depression will start to fizzle out as long as you don't go back into um, reinforcing certain ideas that underpin the depression or certain belief systems which underpin it it eventually evaporates off just like all things uh, uh, that are not the, the absolute truth will evaporate off. So, okay, let me talk directly to the question. So um, you're letting go of making uh, thoughts meaningless and making the world because you have to strip away the belief systems. Like I have a belief systems that chocolate cake is good and lettuce is bad. So if I let that belief, you know, that's a belief. So if I let the, uh, if I make a uh, chocolate cake, is equally as meaningless is not better than lettuce or worse than lettuce so i'm stripping that belief system out by not saying not letting my ego make this arbitrary judgment on uh, chocolate cake and lettuce so i'm stripping off the beliefs because the beliefs as the as the course says and as i as my view as well create you, you see the world through your belief systems it's a projection so you're you're getting like oh you know in a room i might just notice the donuts uh, and everything else is boring because you know that's how my ego those are the belief systems they're filtering through if that was my predominant uh you know belief system so uh and I, i'll probably not notice the lettuce you know I just the donuts will just glow up on the table so just letting go of those and then the ego does sulk of course but then the sulking you know um if i was using the cancel belief i could cancel my belief in in, in depression and pointlessness I'm an infinite being. Uh, does the infinite, is the infinite essence um, find it? Uh, well, the, the source of infinite love is not depression or pointlessness. So there's, it's a layer, um, and that can be cancelled, felt out, or observed, because something observes pointlessness, which is not pointless. You know that 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 the observer of pointless doesn't is not experiencing pointlessness, if you're using self inquiry. Uh, if you can't see belief in pointlessness, um, you're an infinite being. Eventually, the infinite will, you know, the recognition of the infinite, saying the truth. Because in truth, if if the truth was you were a pointlessness feeling, then then that that would remain forever. 
that's not the experience of those who've gone beyond the, the pointlessness feeling or the depressed feeling because those are transitory uh, transitory stages um, of of uh, that need to be transcended you know boredoms and not is a common one that everyone goes what if you can't just be in the drama of your head all the time what if you can't be in the drama of chasing things that you think are good and running away from things are bad you know so the ego does sulk if you're trying to take away its job of making life a duality okay so uh, I, I, I'll stop there on that video because I have a few more.